Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today we're going to be designing a running app interface concept from start to finish using Sketch for Mac. Okay, so let's jump right into the project. You can see on my screen right now, uh, I have a blank artboard and I have a bunch of assets that I've just kind of prepared for the tutorial. If you wanna follow along with this tutorial, I'm gonna have this beginning blank project file down in the notes that you can download, open up in Sketch and cruise along with me. But we're gonna get going here. Let's just talk about what we have. Uh, again, we have our blank artboard on the left-hand side. I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit and see a little bit more about what we have. Um, I've just kind of, ahead of time, I've gone ahead and I've picked a color palette. Um, I've created a couple of icons and I've chosen a typography set uh, that I think works good for a workout or running interface. So we're just gonna be using Futura Bold and also uh, Futura Medium. It's also a good idea to have some idea of what you want to be on the page, especially when you're doing a concept project like this because we are our own clients. And so I'm just gonna put a couple of requirements for the project over here on the left-hand side. Okay, so we have our goals for the project laid out and we have our assets over here. So I just grabbed a status bar, like a generic status bar from uh, a template. Um, that way I could just start building really, really quickly. So I have my status bar and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna take, I like to take all of my, um, all my assets and just group them together and put them in a folder called assets and uh, I'll just do like that and I'll take my goals and I'll put them along the side over here. So now we can kind of work like this. All right, so I pulled in a couple more assets and I'll just show you what I got. I just pulled in a bit of music that I was listening to earlier, uh, like some album art, so we might need that. And also I pulled in a Google map of my local area. So nothing fancy, not making a custom map or anything. We're just gonna try to manipulate a Google map and see how it turns out. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. First things first, I'm going to uh, drag my map in and all of this is we're gonna be working things out as we go so let's just get it on the canvas on the artboard there and we want to drag our status bar up above we're gonna have the status bar float or should we back it up with white I think we'll let it float for now okay so now we have a map on there and let me see I have a feeling I want to do something kind of cool um, let's blow this map up a little bit, I tell you what, we're gonna, we're gonna mask the map. If you don't know how to do a mask, what we're gonna do is take our uh, shape tool and uh, I have my shapes like kinda all up here in the top ready to go. So I'm gonna take a shape and I'm gonna drag the map above it and I'm gonna hit the mask. And so now I can mask out um, a certain section. I wanna zoom in a little bit more on downtown Honolulu where I'm at. So let's do that. And then we're gonna call this map in my layers panel. I'm gonna do another another layer, shape layer on top of it. I'm actually gonna make this a gradient and I'm gonna gradiate out the bottom. So I'm just gonna go like this and kind of pull up on there. What do we got, what do we got? And I think I wanna kind of chill the map out a little bit. So maybe I could just brighten the map up. Most likely we're thinking that you got here like from another screen, like this is the actual running interface, but we need to build the, um, you know, like we need to think of like the app like holistically and understand that we probably came from another screen. So let's give ourselves like a way to get back to some sort of supporting screen. So we're just gonna do a button, should we do it white? And let's do it white and we'll do like a really mellow drop shadow on it like that. And here's our back button. We're just gonna paste right here, take the two and line them up, center them like that. Okay, um, gotta tweak it a little bit because this shape has kind of an edge to it over here. So yeah, we're just gonna eyeball it for now. Again, we're just doing a concept app so uh, that looks pretty good to me. All my uh, icons are already in my off black color that I kind of prepped for the project. So that's cool. Um, this is what I would call like a pretty main control, being able to like actually leave this area and go back. 
So we're just gonna group that together and say back. And I'm actually just gonna duplicate it's 12 pixels from the edge of that screen. So I'm gonna put this one 12 pixels from the edge of that screen. And what I'll do is, um, I think this is maybe where we'd want to start and stop, right? So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here. So now you can see we have kind of our back and our um, pausing arrow. That pause button looks a little off to me. That's frustrating me. It's a little bit off, but eh, we'll have to fix that later. So, okay. So now we have uh, the pause button. So that's really good. Um, so let's take these and we'll call these uh, controls. And we'll put them up there. We'll lock them. We don't need to mess with those again for a while. And let's lock our map as well so we can keep working on top of our workspace. I always think it's really important to lock as you go. That way you can kind of keep creating things without messing anything up underneath. Okay, let's build our trail. So, um, you know what I'm gonna do is, something I don't use very often, I use the pen tool or, or the vector tool quite a bit, um, but I'm thinking about doing a pencil. I don't know, we'll see. I don't use the pencil in Sketch very often. I have a trail, that's pretty cool. Okay, good job Sketch. Uh, just press escape to get out of that. Let's kind of thicken our trail up so we can see it a little bit. And I've never used the pencil tool, or I don't use it very often, so that was kind of cool. It's kind of a boring color. Let's start uh, weaving in some of our accent colors. But what I do want to do is uh, I want to create some start and stop points. So I'm going to use an already established kind of style or pattern that I created. I'm going to do uh, like a white circle and so we'll just drop that up to white and we can see that down here my starting path is more blue and my ending path is more green so what I think I might do is another circle on top of it I'll just drag that up like that and I'll shrink that down and I'll make it my blue color now let's make it really small like this and we'll just center those and I think I'm gonna do a shadow um, but I'm gonna use my blue color Right, um, and then we'll just take that down a little bit, maybe. How does that look? I like that. That's okay. Zoom out and see. Star point looks kind of big. I don't know. Maybe we could drop it, the white around it a little bit, like more like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. So we have here's our start. And we'll just duplicate it. It's kind of close. I don't like the way the, I'm, I mean, that could be where anybody runs, but I'm just gonna put my endpoint up here, actually. I'm gonna enter back into edit mode and see what this pencil tool did. I'll delete that point. I'm just gonna drag this point up here. There we go. I feel like, give it a little distance. See what happens if you actually go for a run. Here we go, and I'll make that one green. And I'm also gonna change the, this color. Ooh, that was weird. We don't want the fill to change though, we wanted the shadow to change. So let's change the shadow to be glowing green. And that's at about 39, the opacity. Let's drop it down to 30. And let's make sure the other one matches because we want things to be synonymous. Okay, so now we have our path, right? We have our start, and we have our finish. Um, I'm gonna group them together and I'm gonna name it path and I'm gonna lock it. I'm going to lock, I'm going to group all those together and just call it top and lock that. So you can see we have this whole section up here uh, that we can work on top of. Whoops, let's jump back over. And so that's looking pretty good so far. Um, I'm liking the look of it. And now I think we should put our main details like distance and time right here. That's the big thing I want to see. Yeah, I like that. Um, and we want to make sure that, you know, just in case we come back and mess with this, that everything is lowercase. So that's nice. So I'll tell you what, let's line all three of these up on the left. Let's make sure all three of these are lined up on their left. Let's kind of crunch these in and give them a little bit less space um, in between. So I like that a lot. 
And let's bring this down even, kind of close here. Let's, sorry, let's balance those guys out using the controls. And we'll just kind of measure. I'm gonna zoom in here, measure. So just a, just a little bit of breathing room. And I think that we could make these also that gradient. So, you know what we could do is come back into our top, into our path, look at our path, find the gradient, save that gradient. Ooh, I like that. And let's come over to these things, check them and give them the gradient. What do we think, is the gradient good? That's a little too much. Let's go single color. So let's just go green. Our, yeah, I like that. Our iconography is kind of when it's on a neutral color, we're just gonna make that design decision that it's gonna be green. We could try the blue and see what the blue looks like. We're just kind of experimenting right now. I think it looks okay. I think the green is a little bit more of like an energetic color. So um, kind of focusing those energy, those energy kind of colors on the iconography, I think it's gonna help. Um, so that's good. So we got some basic stats up here. Let's highlight these and we'll name it distance and let's group these and we'll name it time and we'll group these and call it stats. Okay, so let's lock the stats. I don't know, we're just gonna leave it there like that for now. We'll come back to it and we'll see if we need to make any tweaks or changes. Okay, so now we have four out of our six goals kind of prepared or, or kind of completed. We need to do our visual progress. So I'm thinking with our visual progress, since we already have total distance and total time being measured, um, some of the biggest goals you probably wanna hit when you're running is probably like a distance goal or maybe even a calorie goal. So let's do that. Um, and we're gonna have to make a decision right now on what type of visual progress we wanna show. So it could be either pie charts, uh, we could graph it, but I feel like we already have a lot of line, like kind of wavy line stuff going on. So maybe we would balance the whole kind of design and the composition of it using some really rigid lines. I think that would be good, especially if Futura is like a really rigid looking font. So my mind is kind of thinking, let's make a line chart. Um, let's just make a couple lines here and see how they work. I'm gonna take a rounded circle. Actually, let's go with like a, a really strict square. You know, I don't like how it's dripping directly from from the top into this area. So I think I'm gonna do a line. So just like a hard line here. So I'm just gonna get my line tool out and draw a line all the way across. And let's use our color up there. That's good. So we'll just do some separation here. Let's measure, we're about uh, the only problem with locking things is then you can't measure off of them. So let's measure about 40 pixels away from the details there. And then we'll start having these details be 40 pixels away. So we probably want to do a similar style. Let's just, um, let's just stay kind of succinct here. Okay, so let's put our calorie goal in here. Let's put, we've done 356 out of 1,000 and Let's do it like this. We'll take our calorie goal, actual goal itself, just to give some kind of differentiation, and we'll drop that down. Uh, now, I wanna use as few sizes and styles as possible, so I'm just gonna drop this down to 13. So now you can see that my supporting text or subheads are 13, and I'm using a similar size up here, 13. Um, so that looks good, I like that. I'm actually not really digging this border, and I'm actually not really digging this background so I'm thinking maybe we'll do the shadow here like this just on the bar itself so I like that and I'm actually gonna scope outside of our color palette I'm just gonna drop this line down a little bit I feel like it was a just a bit hard okay um, so that's pretty good we're doing good so far um, we want to make sure we get these guys. Let's just scoop them out and put them where they actually belong. So separator, I'm going to call it that separator. And we're going to call this calorie. And we're going to put the whole thing, let's put separate above. We're going to put the whole thing inside of a group called goals. Okay. Um, let's go inside of goals and we'll just duplicate this. Let's 
do about 10 pixels and now we're gonna we're gonna use our blue color and we're going to also do our shadow in the blue color at an alpha of 30 and this is a distance goal okay so distance goal and we're gonna put let's see obviously we're at 1.67 kilometers out of let's say we want to run three kilometers okay so we're doing good there I feel like we haven't left much room for a music player so we might have to adjust a little bit now, that's no big deal so we have our here we have our goals down here we have our stats up here we have our whole top with the map and all that good stuff so looking good there now let's do our music player we're almost done so just a music player to go and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy this and paste it right in here we're gonna make our music player let's give our music player some contrast so let's look at that it's almost 25 pixels perfect spacing okay it feels a little bit cramped so we might again we might have to adjust but uh, we'll figure it out okay so uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, draw a new rectangle inside of here let's just do our album art over there so I'm gonna drag my album art in and I'm gonna mask it on top of my rectangle okay so looking good there I'm actually just gonna keep the same style um, that we had up there except I'll make this white and I will take the lower casing off in this case and we'll call this uh, one by one and we'll do credit to the Foo Fighters for their album art okay so we're just gonna take that slap that kind of near the top is that too big might we have to introduce a third style or a third size that wouldn't be the end of the world um, okay and now we're gonna add our controls and we're just about done and we have a music player well, that is the project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember that the project files are down in the description. And if you have any questions or tips on something maybe you thought I could have done better or a workflow that would have helped me here, uh, please leave those down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as I can. Um, and if you like this video and you wanna see some more walkthroughs and tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are making and designing amazing stuff. I'll see you guys next time.